Hello YouTube. This is the old Latitude E5500. It's a great laptop, but it has some problems, unfortunately. I can't really show them on camera. I can only tell you what I did. The main problem that this laptop was having, it's not running OS2 warp, that's just, you know, modified boot animation. Um, but it had some problems with some very weird graphical glitching going on. And that's not very normal for a laptop that's running Intel GMA 4500 graphics. But there seems to be something wrong with the VRAM in some way. Although it only really shows... Yeah, it only really shows in Windows uh, Vista. I haven't actually tested it, but I'm assuming. Uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. So basically all Windows operating systems that use the DWM window manager. And that's interesting. I know that the entire interface in Windows 7, or well, Vista through 10, is GPU accelerated, and the Windows XP variant is not, only on 2D level. So there is an issue in there somewhere. I don't know what the problem is, or where it's coming from, or what I should do about it. But it's weird. And the thing is, it doesn't exhibit any of this in Windows XP. It's absolutely fine. In Windows 7, I would just go to just open window, uh, after a while, this entire bar here just started corrupting uh, lines through it. Uh, on the desktop, it would just, you know, have all kinds of lines. Just some horizontal black lines, just, you know, like garbling everything up a bit. And, you know, if you would hover your mouse over it, they would actually disappear. So, I really have no idea why th where that's coming from. And it's very weird. I haven't seen it before. It didn't have this problem when I got the laptop. I'll be very honest about that. It didn't have any issues whatsoever, but it's been in storage for a um, couple weeks. I haven't actually used it much, and suddenly when I opened it up and I was doing some stuff on it, it started corrupting. So I don't know what happened in the meantime that caused this to happen. Maybe it's something related to the display. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't do this in Windows XP, which I'm running right here. You know, I can open up programs just fine. I can browse, browse the web just fine. It's, it's really weird. Like when I was browsing, it would also happen. Uh, one of the sites I frequent, there's a Dutch tech community called tweakers.net. If it's going to connect at all. Is the website down? Let me check real quick. Oh yeah, the website is down or my internet is down, but probably their website. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, it would just load the page and then it would garble on this side. Uh, I just, it's just really mind boggling. I mean, I thought it was, there would be a problem, like uh, I could just increase or decrease the video memory, but since this is a Dell, you can't do anything about it. So that's just, that's really bugging me. I mean, I, uh, put a little bit of money in this laptop to make it run as best as it could but it doesn't really seem to repay me in that way because it's being unreliable as hell all of a sudden like it was fine before then suddenly after I got it out of storage to test it out again and you know install some programs and run some stuff it just completely blew up in my face so but again it doesn't do this in XP XP is perfectly fine but I don't really want to run XP nor do I want to run Linux, because it runs fine on Linux as well. If you have the, uh, the i965 or 915 package, one or the other, the 915 if I recall. If you install the video driver package, it runs just fine in Linux as well, even with animations in older versions like uh, Ubuntu 10.04 LTS, which I have a disk for, which I tried. And that worked just fine as, as well. Even ran OpenSUSE 13.2 on there, ran fine as well. No artifacting, no glitching, nothing. It only happens in Windows Vista through 10. Well, 7 through 10 because that's what I tested. I really don't know what to think. Because, you know, if it's actually a, very much a hardware defect, then I really need to get rid of this laptop as soon as possible and get a replacement, something else. If it's not hardware related, then it's basically some weird issue that's not really coping too well with the 32 megs of VRAM that this chip has compared or well, in, in combination with the uh, Windows 7 DWM and later. But yeah, even if it's a software glitch with Windows 7 desktop uh, window manager, 
there's nothing that I can do about it. And that's really bugging the shit out of me. So it pretty much means that uh, if it is in fact a hardware defect, then I need to sell the laptop and get something else. I can get rid of it pretty quickly, I reckon. Just need to uh, get the SSD out of there and uh, find another SATA 2.5 inch hard drive for it. And then uh, we'll move on. But I, did, I really like this laptop. I want it to live again. But, you know, if someone has a suggestion what this could be, uh, I can't really pull up any screenshots for you guys. But, uh, yeah, it's not like colored lines. It's just a couple black lines that gobble a couple spots on the display. Uh, well, on a window that is open. And that's pretty much it. And it doesn't happen, like I said, in Windows XP. It doesn't happen on Linux. It only happens on, yeah, 7 through 10. And that's weird. I mean, I've tested a couple different driver versions. Even the default Windows ones from 2009 didn't work. Uh, the newest drivers from Intel from, I believe, 2013, they are, I think, yeah. Didn't work. Drivers from 2011, same thing. Ran Windows XP, ran Linux, no problem whatsoever. So, yeah. I've pretty much uh, been talking enough about his laptop again. It's working fine now on XP. I guess I'll have to do. I'll have to, uh, you know, get used to XP again for this uh, little laptop here. It'll run fine. I don't do anything mission critical on here anyway. It's just my work laptop pretty much. Not as in work laptop for productivity, but as in taking it to clients. Maybe typing a few documents here and there. I save them in the cloud anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, any pointers would be appreciated. Uh, I'll see what I can do about it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nevertheless. Now you're all up to date on what I've been going through with this laptop lately. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.